physically we are not doing well. I mean, people get asthma attacks in our school. People have fainted before. Major health and safety concerns inside one of the highest performing Columbus City Schools will be voiced tonight. Parents whose kids attend Columbus Alternative High School plan to address the school board at tonight's meeting. Now Lisa Rockala joining us now live with why parents are calling this an emergency and the school unsafe. Lisa? Parents and students tell me they reached their tipping point last week when the students of cause had to be evacuated due to a transformer that blew. Now the facilities task force did consider earlier this year moving the kids from cause to a different building. However, the task force will not be making that recommendation to the school board tonight. The age of the school was evident with some of the most advanced coursework and highest scores within Columbus City Schools. The students who are there are very engaged and very enthusiastic and that was part of what sold my son on the school. Parents and students of Columbus Alternative High School say it's time to expose the school's dirty secret. We aren't safe here and whether students want to say it or not, I mean, it's the truth. In addition to putting the seven to 800 high schoolers in an elementary school building with smaller size features like the commodes. Coming in with a backpack meant that he couldn't close a door. Sophomore Griffin Hughes sent scoring our schools more pictures, which depict pests, blown plugs, and other safety concerns. Last Tuesday, like different faculty was saying, get away, get as far away from the building as you possibly can. The district itself sent this tweets about a transformer that blew and cut power to cause until the following day. The only light was flashlights from phones. People were running around. Everyone was saying this is what it's like to be at cause. And sadly, it is what it's like to be at cause. So Hughes started making these badges stating, I'm not safe here. Hashtag cause vibe. He's been wearing them in class and passing them out to other students. He says moving kids out of cause has now become an emergency. The school board can be frustrating in that I think there's a political, a lot more leanings on politics than necessarily on education. And a district committee that had a chance to recommend cause be moved to a vacated North High School building decided to advance other proposals instead. I want a genuine, honest, real answer as to why they continue to do this to us. And Griffin Hughes mother will be speaking to the school board tonight about these concerns during the public comment session of the school board meeting later in the meeting. The facilities task force will be presenting their final recommendations of school mergers and closures. Again, cause did not make that cut. The school board is expected to vote on those final recommendations later this month. Reporting live, I'm Lisa Rontala for scoring our schools. Well, the first